Hey, Amy from the blog bossinglife.com. And today I'm gonna share with you January on the homestead. I'm gonna take you with me as I do my daily chores and just do life and I hope you enjoy it. I am teaming up with my friend Kristen over at Generation Acres where her and her family just purchased over 30 acres of raw land that they are completely transforming into their dream homestead, building a house, pretty much everything from scratch. So make sure to check her channel out, subscribe and see what she's up to in January. All right, so let's get started.
So my kids are cleaning up the house and vacuuming and dinner is getting ready cooked. Now I'm about to give our baby goat some medicine just as a preventative measure because we had a parasite issue before. And so it, that doesn't affect the older goats, really only affects the younger goats. Um, and so I'm gonna give her some medicine. And then, hello! Yeah, and then gotta give him some food. And then tonight, which I probably won't show because it's a little bit stressful, but we lock the goats up at nighttime. I give them a little bit more food to encourage them to <laughs> go in there. And then I lock them up and I lock our chickens up as well. Because obviously chickens and with the goats, we have cougars and bobcats here. Um, and supposedly possibly even a bear. So, you know, we gotta lock them up just to protect them. But I really hope you enjoyed our little day in the life and what we're doing on January in the homestead. Some other things that we have going on this month is we are going to be expanding the goat area. Right now it's quite small and they have eaten a lot of the stuff we wanted them to. And so we're gonna be expanding it into our front forested area. Um, and then they can help clear out the poison ivy and the poison oak that's in there and munch on all that good stuff. So that's a project this week that I'm doing and I'm gonna have some help from my husband and some other things. So, um, which you saw me doing some of the fencing earlier. We're trying to reuse as much of the fencing as possible. And since it is winter, we will be pruning our fruit trees in hopes that we will have a much better crop next year. So, you know, when we bought this house in like October and so it was already had all the fruit on it and the fruit's just really small and so we're gonna be pruning. We already started doing it a little bit last month and then we're gonna be continuing finishing up the pruning this month because uh, that's something you should do over the winter before growth really starts in the spring. So thank you so much for joining me today on our day in the life, um, January on the homestead. Make sure to check out my friend Kristen and see what she's got going on over at her channel. Thanks for stopping by. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share with your friends.